members to this meeting of the Licensing Act 2003 committee, which due to health and safety reasons will be held virtually. Uh, the meeting is being recorded and will be available via the council website to be viewed as soon as practically possible following the meeting. Everyone participating in this meeting will be accessing this meeting from re remote locations. Uh, please could everybody ensure that their mobile phones are switched off or on silent mode. Members will have received an electronic copy of the agenda and I will ask officers to present a summary of the key points for the record. Uh, for the record, the agenda can be viewed on the Council's website. Members and officers will speak at various points during the meeting and those speaking may switch their cameras on at that point. But I would ask that with the exception of myself as chair, at all times at the, at the time you keep your cameras and microphones switched off as this will help minimise any background noise and interference and ensure the connection remains as stable as possible. If any members or officers wish to raise a point or question, they should press the hands up button icon on the screen hand at the top of the right hand side of the Microsoft Teams window, and I will come to you in the order I receive requests. Please lower your hand once you've finished speaking. The chat button has been disabled for this meeting. Please do not use your microphone until I invite you to do so. Officers from Democratic Services will be supporting the meeting and will be monitoring the use of microphones throughout the meeting and where necessary will mute those not being used. I would also ask the officers to introduce themselves and when I invite them to speak during the, the course of the meeting, they, they too should ensure microphones and cameras are switched off when not in use. Um, I will now proceed to agenda business. Um, apologies for absence. I've got one apology from Councillor Williams. Uh, Councillor Richard Williams and Councillor Ian Williams have both sent apologies. Thank you. Thank you. Um, declarations of interest. Are there any declarations of interest, please? No. Um, approval of the minutes. Uh, could I have a mover and a seconder for the minutes of the 9th of November 2021? Madam Chair, um, this is the, the meeting that I was talking about, really. I, I had the, the, the meetings mixed up. I, am, I, I will move the minutes, but I am the only remaining councillor who was on that committee Right, OK. But they are correct. Right, OK, thank you. Um, could I ask somebody if, um, just to let me know that this is acceptable? Yes, it is, Madam Chair. For the benefit of the recording, my name is Andrew Rees, Democratic Services Officer, and it is your the duty of, of, of your committee under the 1972 Local Government Act to approve the minutes of the previous meeting. So it is in order for you to, for the committee to approve those minutes. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Andrew. Um, I believe there's a, there is a further hand up. Or... It's now disappeared. All right, OK, thank you. Um, so we're all agreed. Yes, thank you. Right, um, item four is the Licensing Act of 2003 and the Gambling Act of 2005 delegation of functions. Can I bring somebody in on this? Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Kirsty. Um, my name is Kirsty Evans and I am the Licensing Policy Officer and so I'll be um, presenting this report today. Um, so the purpose of this report um, is to set out the proposed arrangements for the authorisation of officers under the Licensing Act 2003 as well as the Gambling Act 2005 and to confirm the arrangements for the formation of the subcommittees following the annual meeting of the Council. 
So to provide some background, Section 9 of the Licensing Act provides that the Licensing Committee may establish one or more subcommittees consisting of three um, members of that committee. Section 10 of the Licensing Act allows for the subdelegation of functions by a licensing committee to a subcommittee established by it or subject to certain restrictions to officers. And the delegation of functions for the Gambling Act is delegated to the Licensing Act 2003 committee, which is established for the purposes of the Licensing Act. So the legislation and statutory guidance also sets out the circumstances where decisions may not be undertaken by officers. And these are generally where representations or objections have been made in respect of personal or um, premises license applications. So what we're proposing today is um, that in the interest of effective performance to delegate the, responsibi the responsibility for authorising officers to administer the requirements of the Licensing Act and Gambling Act to the Chief Officer of Legal and Regulatory Services, HR and Corporate Policy, and for the Chief Officer then to institute proceedings under those acts. We're also proposing that where appropriate, the Chief Officer, the Licensing Team Manager, the Technical Senior Licensing Officer and the Enforcement Senior Licensing Officer, as well as the Licensing Policy Officer, be authorised to acknowledge and issue notices relating to temporary event notices, to issue, refuse, suspend licensing, registration, certificates, permits and notices, to implement the relevant provisions in respect of offences, reviews or other requirements pursuant to any of the rules, regulations and or orders made under the Licensing Act or the Gambling Act. And the committee is also asked to approve the existing arrangements of the formation of the um, subcommittees consisting of three members of the Licensing Act um, committee to determine the applications under the Licensing Act and the Gambling Act. He's proposed that the Licensing Act 2003 subcommittees are chaired by the chairperson or vice chairperson of the Licensing Act 2003 where possible in the event that the chair or vice chair are unable to attend, a chairperson will be elected. So um, if I move to the recommendations um, again, so they had to authorise the chief officer to institute proceedings under the Act. To is also recommended that um, the committee authorise the chief officer, senior licensing officer, um, both enforcement and technical and licensing policy officer of all the matters that I've mentioned in paragraph 4.2. And it's also recommended to approve the arrangements for the formation of the subcommittees, which are set out in 4.3, which I've just gone over. So, thank you, Chair. Thank you. Um, could I have a, a mover on that, please? Yeah, move the recommendation, Chair. And could I have a seconder, please? Seconder. Thank you. Um, are there any other reports to come through? No. No. Yeah. Right. Um, item five then is chair. Do you want to chair? Sorry to interject, but uh, do you want to ask the committee if they're all in agreement with the recommendations That's of that sorry. report? Yeah, sorry. Um, is everybody in agreement? Oh, agree. Yeah, yeah agree. Agree. Yes. Agree, Chair. Thank you. Thanks for that. Um, if there's nothing else, um, item five then is urgent items and I've received no urgent items for today's agenda. OK, and that's it. So if there's nothing else, I'd like to close the meeting. 
Lovely. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Thanks, Great, Chair. Thank you.